Hello everybody and welcome to Demon Slayer episode 11 anime review. I am Connor, disembodied voice is Lewis. Hello. Uh, I have got a bad throat, but we, we persevere on this show to bring you uh, uh, anime, but like anime reviews, we talk about anime. Yeah. Exactly. My... Yeah, kind of struggling. I'll do my best to talk as much as I can this time, although I don't have great notes, so he's going to start to take the lead somewhat. It's okay, it's okay, I have notes. This episode, we got introduced to a character that I thought I was going to like. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I, mean, I like some parts of him, actually, but not, but not enough. Uh, he's very, I mean, character growth. That's time, this is the beginning, but... Yeah, he's supposed to be the whiny one. Yeah, but as of right now, I'm like, okay, let's, uh... Let's tone it down. You're at like a 10. I need you to bring it down to about a negative 3. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's something. But let's start at... Well, I mean, I was going to say let's start at the beginning. That was the beginning, actually. It was. Yeah. So Tanjiro, he, was, he was crying at the feet of some girl going, please, 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 please marry me. I'm going to die soon. Marry me. Which I don't think is a very good way of motivating someone to marry you. Because no. you're kind of committing to... Love and get to know someone as they're about to die. Yeah, I think I may have touched on that in the last last end of last week. I can't remember. Yeah, I mean it can work in certain stories and uh, to tug at your heartstrings and make you sad. Like I can't remember what it is, but I remember there's a story like that and it's really sad and I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, I've got that figure out, but yeah, I know I personally would not want to enter into a marriage just before death. <laughs> yeah, if I think I'm going to die anyway, I'll, I'll, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, but Tanjiro goes to help. He's like, "Come on, man, stop being a dick." Basically, yeah. pulls her, pulls him off her. He does, he does, and then we find out he didn't even know the bird. Yeah, just some random girl. A bird in this case means woman. I know it's very offensive. It's in English. Yeah, though. it's it's a a bit old fashioned, but yeah. I'm sure most people will be. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't take too much offense. It's hopefully. okay. My my brain is like exploding, so. Anything I say should be taken with a pinch of salt, so. But, uh, yeah, yeah, didn't even know him. She smacks him a bit. He's like, you were just laying on the road, and I said hello, and then you accosted me. Is accost the right word? I don't think so. No? Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> should probably introduce yeah. him, right? His name is Zenitsu. Yes, I, actually, I really like the scene. Just after she slapped him, she's, like, screaming at him. And Tantra is holding her back, like he's he's straining to stop her yeah, from like, like mauling him. <laughs> tra trained demon slayer doesn't know how to deal with women. Uh, or struggles to restrain women. That shows the power of her emotion. <laughs> yes, yes. Power of woman equals better than demon slayer. Let's just hire women to be demon slayers. They should. We haven't met a single female demon slayer. Uh, there was the trainee. Well, the two weird one. creepy girl things. And then there, was, then there was a trainee one who I don't think said anything. Okay, I don't remember. She hasn't shown up since, so I do not blame you. Yeah. But uh, then we find out Zenitsu's reason for being a demon slayer is like, I'm severely in debt. I'm literally Ricky right now. Xenoblade. Hmm. Xenoblade, Lewis. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I know. I got it. I, I had a little chuckle. Oh, I was expecting a bigger reaction. I thought it was really clever. Uh, what, severely in debt and is forced to go around yeah. being the hero killing thing, yeah. but isn't really a fan of it? Yeah. Yeah, he's, 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 Ricky. he's literally Ricky, but not an onion. But Ricky's funnier and cuter. I will not debate that. That's accurate. Like significantly cuter. Yes, also significantly funnier. I would argue as well. Yeah. But uh, then you know they have bonding. They share food. They w walk through the forest. And that's the extent of their bonding, basically. Yeah. And now they're best of friends, and they're never going to separate. <laughs> yeah, no. During their walk, I think Tadro seems to think he's yeah. I don't know. He's so something of a of, of of what he imagines as a man and a demon slayer. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's, he's like kind of looking forward to them working together. They're about to do a little mission because oh, he's helping him out because I guess I guess he's scared to do it on his own. So, yeah. So are they were they assigned the same mission, or is Tadro just taking a detour? I think his Tadro's birds probably directed him in the general vicinity. Of this guy because he's probably couldn't solo it or get something. I don't know. The bird it's saw very it. possible they've been assigned the same mission, but if nothing else, this guy's now convinced him to help him out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's maybe how it works. So basically, then they arrive at a nice house. I uh, well, it's it was nice. Looks it, nice. It was a nice house. 
but then the mm -hmm. Fire Nation attacked. The Fire Nation in this situation is that, that demon guy. But but yeah, yeah. Then we find out uh, Zenitsu's special power, and he is the Hearing Man. He has really good hearing. Is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So he's like equivalent to Tanjiro's nose. He's got good ears. So when are we gonna meet the the spelling? Uh, not spelling, the Seeing Man. The what's the other? Tooth. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe the boar is going to have a really good vision. I've forgotten the five senses. The touch. Taste. Taste is the one I've forgotten. <laughs> one of them's going to have a hypersensitive tongue and he's going to be able to taste the demons in the air. <laughs> you joke, but now we've had two of the senses accounted for. <laughs> You're right, it might happen. It's absolutely going to happen. Oh god. But yeah, I, I love how these two absolutely terrified children who are like just seen a demon or whatever and the demon's just taken their brothers away. Tanjiro's way of trying to settle them down. Look at this weird, oddly tamed sparrow I've got in my hand. <laughs> Wait, so you tame animals? Are you some kind of like shaman? Yeah, like that. Like this. Yeah, sparrows in general very not tame things. So that would maybe be like another weird thing. This it's sparrow like, uh, was a bro. He was like, Mister Tanjiro, my master's a dick. Help me. <laughs> Which yeah, is, I like the sparrow. He was sparrow is the best character at this point. He is cute. Yeah. But uh, then the kids like explain, they're like, hey, our brother got taken into the house by a monster. And I'm like, okay, the monster's a demon. Yes. Which sounds uh, surprising, I know, in this show, that there's a demon. Shock. It is a surprise. But uh, yeah, then they hear a sound, or more specifically, mate boy. I see a child throw himself out of a window. <laughs> does he throw himself? I guess he does throw himself out a window. Was he thrown? I thought he threw himself. Yeah, because he's like, I escaped. And I was like, well, did you escape? I guess in some... Uh, I just re re watched it. It looks like he's been thrown, I'll be honest. Yeah, but he does say... He, I he have... fell up backwards and he wasn't running. No, he got he got flung out. He also <laughs> does say, I escaped, but... Yeah. I, guess... I think assisted escape. <laughs> yeah. Whatever's in there threw him. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... So then he dies. But it's not their brother, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's just some random dude. It's just some generic mook, who cares? But also, uh, at least it tells them this person abducted many things, ma many humans, not just the one. Also, Shock. Lewis, I don't, I didn't check to see if this is true, but the girl at the beginning, I'm not going to say who I thought it was, the voice actor, because if I'm right... The girl at the start? Yeah. I'm going to have to check in a minute, but go for it. She sounded just like bloody Kaguya from Kaguya-sama. Kaguya, oh god. Um... I'm not going to say for sure it was that voice actor, because... <sighs> But it's definitely something I'm going to look up after this. Because that's the point I'm at now. Also, the demon at the end had a familiar voice as well. But I'm less sure of what he is. Um, I recognise the boar's voice. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. We're, we're on top of this. But I mean, I couldn't say who it is, but I vaguely recognised it. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying. But uh, yeah, then they're about to go in the house and then it's just like, no, I'm too scared. I'm, I'm too scared, yeah, Tanjiro. Yeah, completely, pussies. Yeah, and Tanjiro's <laughs> like... You what, mate? Mm. How oh, yeah, and it's Andrew's like, oh, by the way, you're going to do a lot of fighting because I have a broken rib and leg. And the guy's just like, nope, we're dead. We're dead, we're dead. This is where I die. Also, he left the box outside with the children, which is an interesting strategy. Yeah, he was like, yeah, this box will protect you. <laughs> the box doesn't. He doesn't explain at all. He doesn't say, inside is my sister. She'll stay inside the box unless you guys stay in the... Like, any kind of explanation, they might have been a bit more comfortable about yeah. it. Yeah. Instead, they're like, oh, hey, the box is scratching, making a scratching yeah. noise. Let's... The box made a scary noise, so we left it, and Tadra's like, <gasps> like, box! He's like, I, I care about that thing more than my own life. <laughs> Kids are like, okay? Yeah, they're just like, oh, this guy has a box fetish. <laughs> like, I, I guess he can't really explain it, because... Demon, but... It's just not to say she's a demon, it's just... His sister's in the box. Yeah, know. but then they'd question, like, why is his sister in yeah, the box? Yeah, it's a bit weird, but you know, he's protecting her, I don't know. Like, he doesn't need to go into long, long explanation. These kids have just been through some severe trauma, they're not going to be asking too many questions. That's a good point. That is... It could go either way. Like, I don't think he had a right option there. I would have, like, left the kids outside and took the box, because you know the demon is inside the house. Yeah, and that box is quite... contains like... quite a useful fighting aid. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about her being referred to as just that, but you make a good point. Yeah, but then they I get... I, I, okay, I don't think it's Kang, he's a voice actress. It, it's close, but I don't think it is. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to, like, Google it later. <laughs> yeah. 
But uh, yeah, then they get separated because the room keeps switching. Like it's yeah, the dudes can somehow very. I mean, he has very close control of the dimensions and room. And but only in weird. this house. Yeah, but only in the house. He can like kind of just move people and change where how gravity works and change which room people are in, or maybe just change how things look. I can't tell. These demons have very. They're very... blood. They're, they're weird. Like blood magic stuff is is a uh, powerful weird. Very unique stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. At least it's not just like the generic. I can shoot lightning balls out of my hands. Oh. Yeah, like I'm not. They're not shooting lasers and not just getting bigger muscles. Like they're doing weird, interesting stuff. It's nice. Yeah. So there, there's a positive. There's something. Put that on the pros and cons sheet that people do. I don't do there's that. There's quite a few pros. There aren't too many cons to this yeah. show in general. It's been pretty. Cool. Yeah. It's weird that we still got so much left to go. Yeah, there's still loads left, isn't there? Yeah. But uh, yeah, then once... So Tanjiro's with the little girl, and Zenitsu was with the little boy, or the slightly bigger little boy. Uh, and then Tanjiro and the little girl see the demon walk past, and he's just kind of chilling. Like, I would argue he might not have even seen them if... I don't think he really... He didn't pay them much notice, and he was just whinging. <laughs> he was like, no, this is my house, guys. Why are you bothering me? It wasn't... I don't think it was them... He was on about. Yeah. He's on about the ball dude. He's on about. I think you're right. He is on about the ball dude. Who? Are you? Are you on the same way? I'm thinking that the ball dude is the brother of the kids. Uh, very possibly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, because I'm he, not sure. He's the only other person we've seen, and I'm like. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't be shocked if he's not. To be honest. No. Because the dude's complaining about someone coming into his house, and I think that ball dude isn't. A hostage. Yeah. Whereas he brought in their brother. Yeah, that's a good point. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a solid I don't think so. Okay. We'll tally up the scores next week and the winner will get a prize. <laughs> yes. But uh Yeah, old poor dude was oof. He was something. He was so Zenitsu finds him when he's trying to escape. <laughs> yeah, he was a bit scared. He was like, Where's the where's the back door gone? Or the front door? It's disappeared. Mm. This doesn't even work, like Geograph not geographically. What's the word? Uh, you might have been going for geometrically, but yeah. I don't know. You know what I mean. That doesn't really work either. The house has rearranged itself, essentially. Yes. But, uh, yeah, runs into the boarhead guy, and he's like, I can blow smoke out of my nose, so I guess it's not a mask. <laughs> but, yeah, that would look creepy. It was... Yeah, but then he just runs out. He's like, I will have my revenge. Not even revenge. He's like, I will fight. Yeah. I'm like, okay, dude, whatever whatever suits Fancy you. Boat. But it, yeah, then Tanjiro has a go at fighting, but the room is like a Rubik's Cube and keeps flipping. <laughs> yeah, he effectively gets swiped around. Yeah. Well, only once, but... but the, 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 and the pig head guy busts in, he's like, I'm going to fight you now, demon man. And I'm like, okay, so he's a good guy. Confirmed. Yes. I mean, we pretty much knew that from the opening. He, but... Yeah, he was in the trailer and he's joking around with... Uh, the yellow guy, I don't remember the name. It's okay, it's been one episode, you're allowed to forget their names after one episode. But uh, yeah, yeah, that was where we ended. I was like, oh man, I want to see what he can do. Yeah, well, I mean, I think he's going to be a pretty... Uh, I would not be shocked if he fights a bit like a berserker. He's dual-wielding, and I think he's going to be quite crazy. Yeah. I would. I doubt he's going to be as refined and, uh, I don't know, graceful as Tanjiro. I think yeah. he's going to be a bit more slashy and hacky. That's a good, good point. Also, like, Nezuko is just trapped outside in the box. <laughs> Nezuko's just stuck in the box outside, and there's sunlight blocking her from getting to the building. I hope the next episode is n none of what we've seen. It's just Nezuko getting out of the box and trying to get past the sunlight into the building. She's, yeah, she's going to pull a solid snake. She's going to put... Yeah, she's put the box gonna, over like, her head. Walking with the box protecting her. Like, like moving the box from, from below. It's going to be beautiful. Watch that happen now. Like... That, that would be a great scene. That'd be really funny, especially if you can hear Ned's got like struggling and like, like effort noises, whatever, while yeah. the box like slowly moves. <laughs> well, like, we're joking, but you can actually see that happening. That would be a great scene. I would really enjoy that. That would that be ten out of ten because Ned's code literally didn't appear this episode. So yeah, um, quite literally, she's so, really sad because she's best girl. Yeah, worst episode zero out of ten. She didn't even <laughs> she didn't even appear in the like after credits thing, like preview bit. Where they talk yeah. about what's about to happen and stuff. She didn't even appear in that. She didn't. Go no, ahead. yeah, it was, it was, yeah. It was Bondi. Yellow yeah. dude. But oh, there's one thing I actually do want to know, mention quickly. Go for it. Possibly going to be something of uh, a key point in the next episode as to how they're going to beat this demon. 
I, I can't figure it out yet, but I think it'll be relevant. When the boar dude jumped through the window, the broken bits of the window they broke through fell to the actual ground, not the ground that they're currently standing on. Oh, really? Yes. Only they, only the people are affected oh. by the dude's weird gravity stuff, that's, not random objects. That's a really good touch that I didn't even pay attention to. Mm. Dude, good job. No problem. Yeah, but uh, anyway, let me know, and Lewis know as well, he, he sometimes, no, he doesn't read the comments. Uh, <laughs> let us know what you thought about the episode and everything, and we will see you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Later.